is Sharon, and I have a few cards I wanted to share with you. Um, I had gotten some new dies from Magnolia Tilda, and I had gotten some new Spellbinders dies. So I wanted to create some cards using some of the Distress inks. So I'll go over a few of these dies here in case you guys are interested. So this is one that I used. It's called Opulent Ovals, and this is a Nestability. And I use this one right here for our topper on one of my cards. And um, this one's called Dolly Lattice. And I purchased this at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $13. It looks like that right there. And then I have this one. It's called uh, Victorian Bow. And really pretty. It makes this here. And this kind of looks like a Christmas ornament to me. And then I have one more. This one is Gold Labels 4. And so I used um, this one and this one, I think. So we'll go ahead and get started. So um, this one right here is just a card that sits like this. It's not an easel card or a crisscross card or anything like that. I just wanted to use something different so I could use one of my Spellbinder dies that I have at the bottom down here. So when it sits... It sits out like this right here, and you can see this pretty part down here that's cut out. And I double layered that so it would be nice and sturdy. So um, the paper collection I use for all three of these are the um, Tales of You and Me by Prima. So that's in the background of all these. So what I did is I just cut out that paper um, collection. I just used like a 6x6 six six sheet of paper. Then I use my die here across the bottom, and then I did another piece that goes in the background right here. You can see it here. I did some of this cheesecloth, and then I used a Spellbinder's die to cut out my little Tilda here. I put a little flower in her hair, and I think I picked these little flowers up at Hobby Lobby. And then these are uh, Recollections and Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, these two right here is some that I created just with the rolled rose and I have a tutorial on that if you guys are interested and I just layered some of these little sprays from Hobby Lobby here and I did some of the frontage on her right here and like I said earlier these are distress colored and I did some of the little curly things up here from the flowers I did some of this trim across the top and so that's the way that one turned out and that's the back this paper is absolutely gorgeous and then on the inside, um, that's where I used one of those Spellbinder dies that I just showed you guys. I also did a Martha Stewart punch across the bottom right here and did some of the perfect pearls here and up here on the top. I did some of the white gesso and sand on here too in different places. I did them on the flowers just to kind of give them a white wash. So that's the first one. And then I have another one. Let me move this one over. So this is the second one and this is another one of the new magnolias that I purchased and I put a little flower in her hair and I did some of the distress coloring on her. Did some frontage around her. Tied this little bow with my bow at all and did a couple layers of lace in the back. This one, um, I think, came from Treasurer's Deluxe. And then this one is some I ordered on eBay. Just kind of layered that over the top of the other one. And then this is a new die that I have from Magnolia. It goes here, and I have it up here behind this bow right in here. And um, after that, I made some little flowers with a die that I got from one of the volumes, the Magnolia books. So I did some of those there, put some stickles on them, and I used Distress Inks to color them. And this is a Magnolia Doohickey die here. It's a bow, and I put a little piece of bling here. And I have a little bling here. I think I purchased that at Michael's. And then this has a tie, um, not a tie, a tag. And it comes out right here, and it's double-sided. It's a Magnolia uh, die as well. And it just slips back in here. And then I did some flowers across the top. And then this is that uh, Spellbinders die that I just showed you guys. That Not Spellbinders, I'm sorry. It's from um, 
um, it's this one right here. That's the one that goes across the top right there. And then I just did some of these little wild orchid craft flowers, put some stickles on those. And this is a spellbinder's die that I cut her out with. And then in the back is a Go Create die put there. And then it sits up like this. You have a sentiment area here. And it just sits like that. So it's a real cute little card. It goes like that. And then my last card, I have three. This is a just a square card. And I put some this beautiful lace trim. It's a really delicate lace trim that goes all the way around it. Absolutely gorgeous. I think somebody gifted me that. I'm not sure who, but someone did. And so um, I just did like the white paper cardstock in the back. Then I did some pink. I used my distressor tool to kind of go around it and give it that distress look. Then I did the paper collection from Prima. I did the um, some um, dollies here on both sides. And then this is a new um, die here. I think I showed you guys that one. It's the Victorian bow. So I put it here and just did some of the distress inks on there to give it that color back there in different places. And then I did this little puppy. He came from another stamp that I have. And then I did my Magnolia Tilda here. And I did some stamping. And um, my kitty cat is fixing to jump up here, I do believe. But I did some stamping back here in the back. It says love and kindness and wonderful. I'm not sure if you can really see that too good or not. But that's there. And then down here at the bottom, this is a Magnolia Tilda um, die here. I just layered some flowers on it and did some of these little uh, things from the stems. And then I did some flowers over here. This is from the paper collection that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Then I did a little bow here. Some more flowers here. And all these came together except for this one in the back that's kind of sparkly right there. So that's that one. And let me move her out of the way because she has gotten up here and lay down Hold on one second. She don't like me moving her. So she was fussing about that. But anyway, um, so this one sits like this when it's up. You have a place down here for your sentiment. And I did a couple of flowers right there. So that one is really pretty. I love that lace that goes around that one. And then here is the other ones. And these cards will be for sale. So if you guys are interested in them, um, you can just let me know. I'll list them in my Etsy store. And they'll be ready when this video is made. So if you guys are interested in them, you can just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.